Yep. We got ourselves another recovery. We're up in Omo Ranch today. It's been years since I've been here. They said you guys are from Argentina, right? Argentina. Yeah. 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 Buenos Aires. And they work at North Star Ski Resort during the winter time. And uh, just happens to be another victim of GPS trying to take people down four wheel drive trails. It's not the first time, it's not gonna be the last time, but uh, we're a couple miles in and there we passed two other vehicles that are stuck, same thing. I guess a couple days ago, um, they shut down the freeway and it tried to reroute everybody back through a different route. Multiple people got stuck, had to call 911, search and rescue, and uh, it's just, it's a hot mess. A couple days later, we come up and get everybody out. Game plan, snatch block off of this tree, or that one. Get the whole front end turned around, facing that direction. Probably drag it out with the kinetic. All right, this is how we got it set up. We got him anchored off to me. And then we're running a snatch block, actually a snatch ring up to this tree. Big tree saver on that one. That is the four inch wide, 10 foot tree saver. I wouldn't have been able to get around that tree if it was an eight foot one. So 10 foot came in handy. Snatch block right to the front. It'll shoot here. I mean, it wouldn't shoot winch line on another tree saver we have it connected to the control arm with a d-ring and an axle strap game plan is just to slide it around pivot the whole thing like i said earlier i imagine it you know should go pretty smooth the only concern really is this all this equipment is frozen right now these axle straps are generally the weakest link Rated for about 3,500 pounds working load limit, 10,000 pound brake strength. So being frozen, it's a bit compromised, but I think it'll hold. Let me get it around, let's see. Yeah, you know, as he's going, let off the brake. If it starts sliding, hit the brake, of course. But uh, you, should, you should be good. Ready? Yep. All right, first pull, here we go. It just starts moving. There she goes. Oh, he got bumped in a little bit. Give it just a little bit of gas. Tiny, tiny amount. All right, hang tight. Easy peasy, guys. It's like we've done this once or twice. What do you think? <laughs> We're not out of the woods yet, but, you know. All right, so now I think we need to re-rig to the other tree soon. Yeah, another four feet. All right, let's see what that... All right, so now we'll just take this same setup and move it from this tree to this tree just to keep going in that general direction. And it should be able to get it from there. If, well, the front end will probably end up in this. Might be able to just uh, pull it right. Yeah, we'll switch to this tree. Yeah, I'll get, get it. it a little bit more. I'll get it. I'll get, I'll get this part, you can. All right. Uh, I guess we don't have to do nothing on that end. <laughs> this tree over here keeps unloading. Hopefully I can catch it on camera, but uh, yeah, it just dumps and just covers the Jeep. I parked in the worst spot. I was in there getting my recovery gear out and all of a sudden I kept hearing like doom, 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 like noise. I was like, what the heck is that? And I just got covered. 
dump 300 gallons of snow I'm in two seconds. Here's the chain. Attempt. Chains, yeah. Not working. <laughs> once <laughs> once we get it down the road a little bit and put the chains on. Yeah, but they're too small for this car. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. The rental company did an awesome job. <laughs> it's a rental. It, it don't matter. No. <laughs> you should see what I do to rentals. Yeah, Have some fun with them. No so. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the bad part. Okay. Now, nah, they'll... They'll never know unless they see this video. <laughs> but, but even then, <laughs> there's no damage. Yeah, look at that hill down there. Definitely something you don't want to go down. All right, got it rigged up. Get back on this side over here. Oh, 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 almost ate it. Trying to get my foot over. <laughs> All right, same thing. We'll just let the winch pull it for a second. I might tell you to give it a little gas. Maybe not, we'll see. All right, watch out. Oh wait, you got that chain out? Okay. All right, we're good. You're in uh, drive, foot off the brake. goes give it just a tiny bit of gas all right stop 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 all right let's uh all right yep oh nice uh yeah back up let's we got this guy to get through You good? Somebody just pulled up over here. We'll let him get by real quick. He should be able to get through. Awesome. All right, third pull. Let's see if we can get this turned around now. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, put the parking brake on. Yeah, put, put your brake on maybe. That'll slide it. Tito. There you go. Oh, there you go. Tito? Toto, right? Toto. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. He's out. We're good. Awesome. Good job, huh? But now we still gotta make it a couple miles through this stuff. The good chance we'll have to pull it again, but it is downhill, so we'll we'll see. Oh, yeah. he's, he's watering the trail over there. We got turned around a couple miles down the hill. Let's get it. It's a fairly easy recovery. Two hours driving each way, but uh, you know, 30 minutes of actual work. But like I said, we're not out of the woods yet. Quite literally, we're still in the woods and it's still pretty soft and he's only two wheel drive. So let's see how far he makes it. Shut down the freeway. Well, that's not the end of the video. We're gonna keep pushing up to Pollock Pines. We're taking the back roads because the freeway shut down. And uh, I have a feeling we're gonna definitely find some more recoveries. It is some of the biggest. These are some of the biggest freaking snowflakes I've ever seen. Like these things are a couple inches. Nuts. We've got real low visibility now. Some when the wind starts blowing, you can't see 20, 30 feet in front of you. It's white out blizzard conditions up here. 
this is the stuff that I live for. I love it. I get to stay up here for days. This is actually my fourth day in a row that I've been doing this up here. I got some, uh, you guys will already see the previous videos before this one, but yeah, four days in a row and uh, probably five different videos out of that. And today will be the, the sixth video of content. So it's pretty, pretty gnarly. Well, we just got into Pollock and we got our first victim here. This car, this car is totaled. Oh yeah, hit that. Come sliding down, hit that big old diesel and crunch the whole front end of this thing. Luckily there's a tractor right here. All bad, all bad. They're probably gonna get stuck pulling off. If the tractor wasn't there, I would at least get it out of the road because they are in the middle of the freaking road. But hey, that's that's an accident for you. The guy's popping roofies, that's what I'm talking about. Take them <laughs> Walking back with their pizza. Oh yeah, I love this place. I'll get a house up here one day. Well, we got a call. My buddy who does a lot of rescues ended up getting stuck in the ditch and it's probably the worst one of the day. So uh, we'll get this thing on video real quick. Right. Back there. Yeah, make sure you guys get back a little bit in case it shoots. Yeah, you too, bro. <laughs> in case it shoots. Are you good? Roll your damn window down. You good? Thumbs up. No, <laughs> it might have might have nudged it a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to winch it, bro. It didn't barely move. Yeah, we're gonna have to winch it. Disconnect me real quick. It didn't even move, did it? Disconnect me real quick. All right, hold up. And he's on ice. Nah, but that was a lot of weight. That was a hard pull. Take her. I'll just turn it off. All right. didn't even move it and that was a pretty good bump so we're gonna um, just have to block traffic and winch it off of one of these trees snatch block it i don't like doing that but don't have many options that was a pretty pretty good tug going downhill didn't budget it didn't feel like it look at all these people that come out to help it's a good community we've got the road shut down right now but it should only take about five ten minutes to get it open back up we've got a couple cars down here already but uh it shouldn't take too long He's gonna just winch straight off of this tree, use his own winch. If that doesn't work, we got about six more winches here to do it. Letting a couple trucks pass. That's a big old truck. Go ahead, go. Oh, is that Kurt? No. Nah. All right, here we go. Give it a little bit of gas. <laughs> Turn your wheel, Corey. Turn your wheel. Give it a little gas. You're in neutral, dumbass. There you go. <laughs> that, that changes the game a little bit. Jesus Christ, guys. Keep, keep, keep turning as you dig it. That's probably how you got yourself into this situation on your phone. Watch out, man. That's got a lot of tension on that. I know, it's got to shoot straight though. It is a tiny ass tree, too. Yeah. She's making it. Keep going, you're getting it. 
That's why it's important. You gotta have a winch. All righty. Yeah, like I said, five minutes. Didn't even block the road for probably three minutes. Well, that one was easy. Easy enough, he winched himself out. We were really only needed just to block traffic, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, but it is getting bad out here. The longer we stay, the worse it gets. You're supposed to get 48 to 60 inches of snow over the next three days up here. It's absolutely insane, super deep. So uh, yeah, all week I'll be up here. We've got ourselves a Tesla back there about to hook up this kinetic. He is stuck on the side of Highway 50. Got my buddy with me hooking up the rope. Give it a nice little tug. He just pulled over to clean his windshield wipers. They get jammed up, they don't not working right. I actually did the same thing. Pulled up behind him, make sure he was all right, and I uh, said he was stuck. He tried pushing it and pushing it, couldn't get it. His Teslas are heavy. Here, and half in, half out, you might. Yeah. Later, man. Another one. That was easy. Spent more time pushing it than we did trying to pull it. Yeah, do me a solid. Go to the Rhino USA YouTube channel. We're trying to get that one up and running, get more subscribers, and uh, you will see a lot of these recovery videos, the short version, days if not weeks before you will see them on this channel. Plus, we also do unboxing videos, product demonstrations new product videos, all types of stuff. So go to the Rhino USA YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I get a lot of viewers that probably watch my stuff regularly but still haven't subscribed. So do me a favor, hit that button. I appreciate it.